Ah, uh, Barranco, the neighborhood to visit when you want to get your hipster on. Where you can take in the street art. I like this bird guy. Dine on fresh picarones. And find out if your relationship will stand the test of time. If you take a breath before getting across, this relationship has failed, according to legend. Join us for a night out in this lovely corner of Lima. Morning! This was another thing I love about the Hyatt. They gave us robes, which is delightful. They're nice. They've got terry cloth on the inside. And they left a cute little note. Listen to this. This is just how cute they are. This is so Hyatt. After a long day of exploring, nothing beats a hot shower, a comfortable robe, and a glass of wine in front of the TV. It's an amazing feeling you can't quite describe, but it's one you can bring home with you for a cool $150. Wine not included. So even when they're trying to sell us shit, I still love them. Anyway. Last night, we kind of left you hanging. We ended up coming back to the Hyatt and checking out their pool. But what we didn't notice, <laughs> we kind of crashed a wedding. In our swimsuits. I know. You may be thinking, how did you not notice? <laughs> the party hadn't started when we went to see how busy the pool was. Although I do remember thinking, wow, this is really decked out. And they didn't have it closed off or like anything that said private event. There were no signs that said private event. Yeah. There was a sign that said, Teresa and Miguel. Whoops! Sorry if we crashed your wedding. <laughs> Teresa and Miguel, we don't speak Spanish. I don't know what that means. It, it might mean come to the pool, for all I know. <laughs> we figured it out and felt really awkward and left fairly early. <laughs> We're leaving Lima today to head to... Huaraz, the trekking capital of Lima... Er, <laughs> of the world, of the universe, of Peru. Of Peru. I compare it to, like, when I saw pictures of it, I thought it looked kind of like Banff in Canada. We're gonna go up and stay two weeks there. We're gonna take an overnight bus tonight, which... Hopefully I can sleep. Today we're gonna meet up with some other people that are gonna be going on the Kinging It trip. Uh, we're gonna try out a vegan restaurant with them for lunch. I'm excited about it. Now we gotta kind of hustle and get everything together, because checkout's in an hour. As you can see, we got we our stuff all over the place, so... We packed our bags, checked out of the hotel, and were able to leave our bags at the front desk for safekeeping while we explored the city. We caught an Uber to a vegan restaurant in Miraflores, where we met up with another couple who were booked to join us in Cusco on the Kinging It trip. Meet Hayden and Aaron. These two have been slowly traveling through Central and South America for the last few months. They document their travels and their quest for the best vegan food over on their channel, Vegan Voyagers. So go check out their channel and give them some love. We didn't film because we were too busy visiting, drinking, and having fun, but did manage to snag this pic. Walking off our lunch, we headed to the Bronco district of Lima. The streets and buildings in the area are covered in bright, colorful street art, offering a stark contrast to Lima's often drabby skies. Attracting artists and purveyors alike, the district is also home to hidden bars and coffee shops colonial mansions, and delicious food. I like this bird here. It's no wonder it's considered the most romantic and bohemian part of Lima. Okay, this is our mission, should you choose to accept it. We are going to walk down this walkway. Mr. Walkway, Mr. Walk down me, I'm the walkway. Lead me to the building. And then we're gonna take that stair set right there, up there, and then we're gonna walk up this ramp and then go over the bridge of sides. Where we can see if our love will last. Yes, because apparently if two people can walk across the bridge, do you have to hold hands? I can't remember if you have to hold hands. I, I mean, know. I'll hold hands. I just don't remember if it's part of the uh, folklore or not. You can make a wish, but either way, if you take a breath before getting across, this relationship has failed, according to legend. While holding your breath, it will last. I don't know if that necessarily means the opposite, that you're doomed if you don't. It's just not guaranteed. No, you're doomed if you don't. Take it to the extremes now. <laughs> there's a freebie for all you ladies out there. And then there's one for you gentlemen. <laughs> Or ladies. Yeah, or gents. I mean, who am I to judge? Love who you will. Yeah. Yeah. 
As long as it's consensual. Yes. This is the famous bridge. I don't know if we should hold hands. It's kind of crowded. Baby, you got wait for me. Okay, that was harder than I thought. <laughs> I was like, I already started, babe, we gotta hurry. <laughs> Apparently we still need to work on our breathing. Yeah, um, about halfway through, I might have actually inhaled a little bit. I'm not <gasps> sure. I'm just being honest. I, I did too. It was kind of like so subtle that I was like, did I just breathe in? Not very much though, but like towards the end, I was like, okay, we gotta hurry, because I was running out of breath. Anyway, that's the bridge of size. You need sigh. <laughs> tonight and uh, there's our crap spread out on the gym floor allow me to explain so when we checked in here yesterday we were explaining that we had one night here and then we were taking the overnight bus to Juarez and she offered to keep our bags of course as we explored the town today. But on top of that, she was like, yeah, and you can, you know, use the shower at the gym. But anyway, I'm recording here without Kendra because she's in the shower and kind of got a hurry. We're gonna go down to the lobby, have a little bite to eat, something light, and then get an Uber over to the bus station, then off to Guadalajara. So never done an overnight bus before, but it does have 180 degree chairs, playback so you can sleep flat. I'm excited for that, but I'm a little nervous about to sleep in a bus, especially for Kendra, she gets a little motion sickness. Hopefully it'll go well. We tried to film a bit at the bus with our iPhones, but the footage sucked more balls than I care to admit. So just take my word for it that if you're planning an overnight trip from Lima to Juarez, Mobile Bus is the way to go. 
We're so excited to share our time in Wild Oz with you over the next few videos. For now, I'll leave you with this view from the terrace of our Airbnb, but we hope you'll join us in the coming weeks for more adventures in this magnificent but less known region of Peru.